say hi. There's big old BJ. Say hi. Can you say hi? Okay. Hey, good morning everyone. Kay here on the homestead in Tennessee. And it's going to be a scorcher today. My helper is not coming. I am going to go down and see if there are a mess of peas to harvest. I've not been down there since, well, I mean, I was down there yesterday and I took a glance around, but I didn't go in for a closer look. And, you know, it's interesting because a lot of people have said to me, what are you going to do with all that harvest? And, you know, I haven't set anything up on the road like I had planned to do. My uncle does that. He sells tomatoes, you know, honor system out front had 190 tomato plants this year and I didn't set anything up I don't know that many people on this road interestingly enough a lot of people no one's really stopped and asked about this garden I mean I, I think there's been one person two people that have stopped and asked about it but today for the first time it did hit me that what am I gonna do with all those peas if they all do well. <laughs> but anyway, we don't know yet. Let's go down and see what we can find. I just wanted to point out that the these blue spice basil look absolutely fantastic but they're starting to break and I don't know if that's from the weight or if there's an animal in here breaking it that one might survive but I had to take that one out completely and I've got this one propped up and then there's a whole pile of the ones that I had to take out. I had to take out three quarters of this one. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Here are my sunflowers. My latest sunflowers. Here are my heirloom peas. Isn't that awesome? Oh, okay. If I've learned anything this year, it's give peas more space. And this is actually actually the most vigorous thing growing in my garden. This is Egyptian spinach. These leaves are very nutritious. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all that because people here have never seen that and they wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Just want to point out that the eggplant is looking pretty good. I've got some flowers and the plants are getting bigger. Up here the peas are not growing over them too badly. But down here <laughs> it's a different story. So at this point I don't think I can untangle all of that. And I'm just going to hope for the best. There is an eggplant under there somewhere. <laughs> here too. Oh my goodness, look at this squash taken off that way. I love getting down here before the sun hits it. Ooh, I see a bee down below. There's some nice flowers sticking up, so hopefully they can get down there. Okay, here are the peas that we're going to work with, and look at all those flowers. So I have a lot to look forward to. This is the first pea patch which runs into these ground cherries. One, two, three, four. And okra. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 
I didn't realize it was time to pick okra. I didn't even bring up, oh dear, I didn't bring up clipper. Look at that, I can't even get that okra off of there. Okay, shoot. Okay, I need a clipper. And the sun is just about to top that tallest tree. So I missed this harvesting in the shade. I should have been down here an hour ago. So I'm gonna quickly round up what I can and then we'll discuss. I missed it. I missed it. Look, all of these huge okra, and I couldn't even see that happening. Oh my goodness. These are too big to eat. They're too tough. So, that may be too. That's a possibility. Oh, I have got to get on top of this. My neighbor just stopped by to chat, and I stood there for five minutes talking to him, and I am dripping with sweat. So, I didn't even bring a hat down here. And you know, these rows are so close together, I don't know if I can even get in there. I expected them to be taller before they set fruit. And that was, um, that's what happened last year. So, big mistake. Quick shot of my peanuts, looking very healthy. I think I need to mound them up a little bit more. I had to come over here in the shade. Wow, there's like sweat over my glasses. And I know all you people in the South know exactly what I'm talking about. Wow, I am slick with sweat. And I feel like I've had an okra bath. 
okra is kind of rough. You know, the stems are a little bit rough, the leaves are a little bit scratchy, and I feel like I need a shower. <laughs> I do need a shower and I also feel like I need a shower so this is learning my lesson again what was if you've watched me from the beginning what were the two things I stressed I called them late bloomer lessons LBLs one was be vigilant and one was be observant and there were more but right at the moment I can't think what they were <laughs> Be observant. You know, I was down here and I took a cursory look like that. Okay, everything looks good. I see some okra flowers over there. You know, the peas, you know. And I'm thinking, I'm coming down here just to pick peas. No, I am out of here. I am burning up. And the beauty of peas is if you don't pick them when they're fresh, you can pick them when they're dry. Duh. But okra, no. This is what happens to okra. <laughs> this, for example. You cannot eat that. It's like, it's like a loofah sponge inside after it's gotten hard. <laughs> you know, but that was the first round. You know, that first joint where they made their first fruit. I missed it. I missed it. Somebody's slowing down. To talk to me. Um, I guess they didn't want to talk, they just wanted to look. So this is about the perfect, the biggest perfect size and you should pick them before that. This looks good and this looks perfect. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. These little ones are just perfect to cook or to eat raw. But there aren't a lot of those. <laughs> because all those plants at that first joint, there was a flower. Couldn't see it for all that foliage. So here's one more. Happy gardening. Mmm. 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 Tender. Mmm. Very mild flavor. So, thank you so much for following my journey here. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's inspiring. I hope you, it's just beautiful and you enjoy the beauty of it. So, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything. All the action right here. And guess what? We have, the phone says we're going to have eight straight days of rain. And you know, I'm embarrassed to even say that with, with so many people who are struggling, just watering tap water on their gardens, trying to keep them alive. I don't understand it. I'm just going to try to do the best I can with what I have. That's all we can do, right? See you next time. Here's Tiger. <gasps> she's purring she's purring she's so big look how big she is I don't understand I'm gonna have to put her on a diet oh I can't even whoa I can't even pick you up you're so big hey it's a good idea to wear gloves and a long sleeve shirt when you're working in okra especially when you're climbing in through the tunnel <laughs>